Why did Sultan Suleiman the Magnificent cry after he killed his son, Prince Mustafa? Prince Mustafa, the eldest son of Sultan Suleiman the Magnificent, was beloved by both the army and the people, making him the strongest contender for the throne. However, his ambition and influence raised the Sultan's suspicions, especially after palace conspiracies pushed Suleiman to make a fateful decision that would alter their lives and the empire forever. A message from Sultan Suleiman reached Prince Mustafa in his camp. It was an unexpected summons, but Mustafa knew the meeting with his father carried more than just words. This was no ordinary encounter, it was a confrontation with fate that would change his life forever. Prince Mustafa walked steadily toward the Sultan's tent. The atmosphere was tense, with soldiers watching him in heavy silence. He knew these moments could be his last, yet he maintained his composure. It wasn't fear that filled him, but a deep sense of betrayal. Inside the tent, Sultan Suleiman sat on his temporary throne, his face stern. He gazed at his son, who stood before him like a soldier awaiting judgment. The atmosphere in the tent was heavy, bearing the weight of past decisions and countless sorrows, all pointing to an inevitable end. No words were necessary both the Sultan and his son understood each other's thoughts. In that silence, Mustafa reflected on every moment of loyalty to his father and the state. Meanwhile, the Sultan faced an internal struggle between the love of a father and the duty of a ruler. After moments of tense anticipation, the Sultan raised his hand in a faint gesture. The guards entered with heavy steps, their eyes avoiding the prince. They knew they were tasked not only with taking a life but also with ending a story of love and hope between a father and his son. As the guards approached, Mustafa neither fled nor screamed. He resisted briefly, not to escape death, but to preserve his dignity. His final moment stood as a testament to his courage, facing death with unyielding resolve, as if he sought to leave behind an unforgettable legacy. When it was all over, a solemn silence enveloped the camp. Everyone was stunned, unable to believe that their beloved prince had been executed by his father's command. A profound sense of loss gripped their hearts, as if the entire empire had lost its soul in that tragic moment. In his tent, Sultan Suleiman sat alone, his eyes fixed on the ground, as if searching for solace that did not exist. This was no victory, but a heavy loss that carried away an innocent soul. He knew this decision would haunt him for the rest of his days. The news of Prince Mustafa's execution spread like wildfire throughout the empire. People were filled with grief and anger. They had lost a prince they deeply loved, and suspicion began to loom over the palace and its inhabitants. This event became a dark stain on Sultan Suleiman's reign. The tomb of Prince Mustafa remains a witness to this tragedy. People visited to mourn a man who could have become a great sultan. As for Sultan Suleiman, he spent the rest of his life haunted by memories of his son, begging for God's mercy for a decision that forever broke his heart.